All right, Arne, here we are. Control Pioneer Standoff. Who has the best control deck? Blue, black, or Zarius? Who is the best control player? Andrea or Anna. Woo! <laughs> all right, all right, that's the viral. Higher. Welcome to the Card Market Feature Match, where, and yes, you have seen the length of the video, we are doing a control mirror today. Yeah, because Arne and Andrea, that's Arne Huschenbett and Andrea Mangucci, by the way, Top couldn't players. agree on which version of the deck is best in Pioneer, with black or with white. It's obviously Azurius, I mean... No, no, it's clearly the mirror control, it gets to play Thoughtseize. Dude, have you, pl have you ever played with, like, Sphinx's Revelation and... Listen, there's two ways to find out, actually. We, you guys can decide. First of all, you can scroll down in the comments before even watching the video and predict which one you think will win this. And on your way back up, you can hit that sub button. Yes, it really helps us grow the channel and do things like invite and then I'm in Gucci to play these videos. The second way... Well, the second way is coming right up in like three, two, one. Let's go! Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? I'm today here to play the Mia Control and Pioneer. Yes, let's go. Let's do this. This is actually a deck list by none other than Gabriel Yellowhead Nassif, who built this deck uh, recently. And it's not just a regular Demir Control deck trying to finish with Breaker Horror or Torrential Gear Hulk. It is a Demir Control deck with the combo of Days Undoing and Nazat Part of Veils built in. So I draw seven cards and you don't. I'm excited to find out if this deck is any good in Pioneer. Um, there's some really sweet new cards in it too, like Airtie Resurrected, which is kind of cool with Nazet, so that the opponent does not draw a card when you destroy their permanent. So we'll see how this works, and I'm excited to battle. Alright, Pioneer again. Carl really wanted me to place him blue-white control, so here we are. Mirror match of control deck against Arne. It's exciting. I am bringing blue-white to the table. Stifir of Dominara is the card that won me the Mythic Invitational three years ago. And uh, I'm excited to play that card again. Hopefully I draw a lot of cards, counter all the spells, and yeah, just, just get the job done. Hyro, let's go. Whoa! Who is the best die roll? Okay. okay. Well, I Minus do. one. Let's just say minus one. Come on, triple six. <laughs> all right. We got a 12. All right, good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. All right. I assume you're going to be on the plate. I'm on the plate. It's not that it's like the hugest of the deals. Here we go. Only two lands, but you know, I got some good counters. Dovin's Veto, Absorb, Faithful Absence, Shark Typhoon. You can't mulligan this hand. I could never draw lands and lose, but that's kind of like the magic life. I'm keeping. You're keeping. All right, this hand is close. I mean, I got the Make Disappear on turn two. I have the Shadow's Verdict for later. Shadow's Verdict is pretty slow sweeper. Five lands is a lot. I'm already on a draw. If I draw like a couple more lands, this hand's gonna be tough. I don't have any of my combo pieces, no card advantage. Uh, I could see a world where keeping this, but on a draw, when you're in doubt, and I think on a draw, I can just do better than this, this seven card hand. So I'm gonna take a one again. All right, let's go. Thank you. Spam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this six does have removal early, a sensor, lands, freelance plenty. Just put away a fail push and I'm good to go. I'm just gonna put this away and we're good to go. Farmland, go. All right, draw cards. I will go ahead and play a pathway on black. Go ahead. Grow. Yep. Go. Ah, oh, what a beautiful start. Irrigated farmland into irrigated farmland. Perfect. <laughs> I will continue my sequence of top lane. Mm. Oh, wonderful. This is a good one, though. I'll cycle the fetish sure. boards. Draw a card. Untap. All right. There's no other really good window for me to resolve that Nazit. Later on, he might have Absorb and Sword coming up or something like that. I think this is exactly the turn where I want to do it, even though there is the downside of running into Sensor, which is a card I otherwise want to have dead. Um, it, th this is just the moment to do it, because if I do it later on, Mango can counter it, perhaps, with a different counter, and then slam his own Planeswalker and really get me. So this is the window to do it. I will slam the Nazareth out of Wales. I will impersonate Dovin. Aww. <laughs> Nazareth down. Go ahead. <laughs> Nice picture. Uh, Fidderuin, your turn. 
Oh, Phil runs a nice one. Yeah, he's for your auto wire. <laughs> All right, I played favorite passage. Mm. Pass it to him. I will lower the amount of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, play this card. You, it costs six mana, Mango, and is a sorcerer. I will use the special cycling ability ah, I see, to I get see. a Tutu Shark okay. and draw a card. All right. Is that okay? Yeah, Can I untap? Okay. You may untap. Okay. Is this time for two damage? Oh, okay, push. Yep, shark. Goodbye. Um, Go. Yeah. I will cycle sensor. Yep. Draw a card. <clears throat> Draw a card. <sighs> do I play Days Undoing? Is this really the turn I want to do that? But if I consider my hand, I think I have to risk it. I just have to hope that Mengu does not drop a Teferi on me next turn or something crazy like a Shark Typhoon even. I just gotta pray. But if I don't do anything here, Mengu is just gonna make more land drops and I'm gonna sit there on these removal spells, not be able to do anything. So yeah, just gotta risk it. We both draw seven. Cast it, Jason, do it. No. Days Undoing without Narset in play? That's weird. I mean, I could counter this with Ab Absorb. He doesn't make a land drop this turn because Days Undoing passes the turn. And I have more lands, more cards because I untap with eight. I think I'm okay letting this resolve. If I absorb this, my hand is just three removal spells. I mean, probably Arna's hand is also bad, but I'm okay in taking this, this trade. I'll accept it. All right. All right, your days and doing resolves. Let's see. Let's see if I get uh, something cool. I cannot cast Emperor, which is cool, which is a nice thing of days and doing now. Yeah, because, because it ends, it the, turn ends the turn exactly. You can't make a land drop. And so yeah, it's basically just your upkeep, right? All right, now. keep. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. That's how it works. I go. Yeah. Oh. No Teferi. Yes. Good job in dodging. I, I needed a lot of things to go right there. Big dodge there. Two mana, I will foretell. Mm, I will see. foretell a card, it could be anything. Could be anything, really. Go. I like my hand a lot more than the previous one, I gotta tell you. Draw a card. Play an island. What I if I had a shark day food? I just cast it. Ooh. Chat would go wild. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Are the Vara already in play? Yeah, yeah, I was like... Against the blue black deck? Narset. Narset hits the battlefield. All right. Hopefully. That's... Nah, I was trying not to. I'll play and absorb. All right. Hmm. I will crack my favorite passage. <laughs> you know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> so play correctly here. One thing at a time. And get a swamp. And make this appear, this absorb. All right, all right, the Absorb did disappear indeed. Make Disappear really got me good here. I mean, I could have gone land untapped and saw it coming to play around it. I just didn't see it. I only played around uh, Sensor, which is also why I went land untapped Absorb. But uh, yeah, Make Disappear, gotta play around that next time. Goodbye, Absorb. Yep, Results. Oh, minus an asset. Yep, go ahead. Ooh, you got some options. So Nasset on the board already means that Mengo is going to be priced into likely activating this Hall of Storm Giants and killing that Nasset. I think due to that, I like the Sorrow here. Because if not, if, if Mengo just taps out, kills my Nasset, I can then play my own Sorin, make a Vampire Token, and have Counter Magic up to protect the Sorin. I think I'll just go with Sorin here. Sorin the Mirthless. Okay. Pass. Yep. And tap and draw. Then you can keep it up. I think I have to attack Narset. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Narset down. On tap. Okay. I'll shock myself. Alright, first blood. 18. <laughs> first blood, yeah. <laughs> I'll cast Sara in the Murphless. Making a vampire. Yep. And I pass it down to you. And tap and draw. Okay. I'll pay one for a March of the Other Worldly Light. 
on the token. I can actually use my make disappear on this march instead of the negate, which I might need later for a Teferi from the top of his deck or a Wandering Emperor, what have you. Because if he pays for the make disappear, my vampire dies. I don't really care about the vampire, but he cannot attack my Soren down. And that is all I want. I will cast make disappear targeting the march. No casualty. Okay. Um... Okay, so my plan was to, of course, like kill his vampire, activate the whole attack, but Arnett played well here, make this appear, basically just make so that I can't activate my hall, so I have to pay two mana to kill the vampire one way or another, might as well just pay and pass, but where are my planeswalker? I've drawn so many cards, I need a planeswalker in this game. I will uh, pay. Okay. Let's take this out. And then uh, I'll play another hall and pass to you. On top, draw. Plus the Sauron. Yep. And reveal the island. No damage. Go ahead and play the islands. And pass the turn back to you. On top and draw. Yep. Deserted beach. Mm -hmm. Pass. All right. On top. Uh, upkeep. I would like to cast Fateful Absence. I would like to play an Ertai. Ertai. So what that does is you counter my Fateful Absence and I draw a card. I don't like that. So I'll play an Absorb. We have a stack over here. We do, we do. No. Is that a negate? A negate the Absorb. You want to negate the Absorb? I'll play Hedovin's Veto. Wow. All the negate. All right, you got some goodies. Okay. That's clean. All right, that was crazy, huh? I didn't expect you to have that many counter spells, but here we are. Yes, for sure. Hey, we're in the upkeep. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't forget that, but thanks for the reminder. So I'm going to draw a card for my turn. Sure. Okay. All right, so you got one card left. One mm. card left. It's. Okay, go ahead. All right, it's time to draw. One of my favorite magic cards of all time, Teferi Hero of Dominaria. I'm fully with you on that one. It is not. Ah, good. And to play that secret card and fire off this mm -hmm. one over here. Thank you for seven. Mm -hmm. I go to 11. All right, after I'll crack this clue. Yeah. Card. Go ahead, the card is advantage, but it's okay. Uh, Sauron would have drawn a yeah, lot more cards. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You have five cards? Mm. I do, I do, I do, I do. And today's undoing, I think. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I shuffle first. Fail passage. Fin my deck. Get an island. An asset. I will uh, play this mystery card. Ooh, I would send that. No, oh, yeah. you're shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if you had sensor, would have cycled it so he has to draw it exactly now or... All right, results. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. All right, so can we find a days on doing? That'd be sweet. No. <laughs> Look, what do we got? Ah, oh, interesting. All right, I'll take a fatal push. Mm, strong. And it's your turn. And top and draw. Yeah, two damage is so greedy. Ah. Probably deserve this loss. Ah, it's okay. Activate. No, you got the sensor for my fatal push, huh? <laughs> Talk Narset. Fatal push. Pay three. Pay three? It's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> it would have been a nice comeback move. Go. All right. Ay ay ay, the uh, two damage. Yeah. Go. I will Narset minus, and we'll be fine. We find another Narset. Yep. Okay, so it's a shuffle. Put yep. it on the bottom. Uh, yeah, I'll just play another Narset here. Results. And then I will go ahead and minus again. Results. And I will get a shot there from this time. You cast it? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to? <laughs> Play a tap water grave and pass the turn. Yeah. Activate again. Yeah. 
And go to combat. Yep. Attack Narset. Power Ward Kill. Power Ward Kill. Pay the Ward. Pay the Ward. Dies. And yeah, top one go. Okay, what do we find? All right, and minus Narset again. Yep. All right, take a point of indulgence. Sure, sure. You have five types? I believe so. I have everything from one to four, so that's and five. And land as well. Yes. All right, cool. I'll shock you. Sure. Play Tainted Indulgence, main phase. Draw two. Yeah, here's a shock for you. Thank you. Then I will play Watery Grave Tat. Yeah. Go ahead. Tap and draw. It's your turn. I will cycle Feather Tools. Okay. Draw cards. I'm going to attack for two. 18. Then I will play a Field of Ruin. I will play a Kalitas. Tap my mana correctly here. Mm -hmm. And then I will tap an Island, an Island, and an Alavara. Mm -hmm. To cast the days I'm doing, trigger my shot. I'll play Psychon. Alright. <clears throat> you got that one. Thank you for providing a shock. And I mean, I could do one more thing technically, but um, no, it's your turn. Draw. It's finally time. Yeah, figured, <laughs> <I figured. laughs> to Supreme Verdict, your board state. Uh, you have one card in hand. Hmm. Yeah, you can go. All right, once again in your upkeep, I would like to play a spell. Yep. Playing around counter magic. Okay, that does resolve. Okay, and uh, you can go. I can make the token anywhere I want. Okay. Here you go. All right. I cast a shot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I cast Extinction Event. Because oh wow! Trigger, trigger. On what? Other even? Maybe <laughs> 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 I take odd for that one. You appreciate it. All right. Um, so we got a little shock army here. Fourteen okay. power. It's okay. your turn. It's my turn. I'm gonna plus. Wondering Emperor. Okay. Do you have another verdict? I do. Ah. It's actually keeps it interesting. If I'll I flood out now. I'll play another verdict. Yeah. So kill damn. those. Damn, damn, damn. Make a, a samurai. Perhaps this was a little risky. Your turn. Maybe a little too greedy with the shock typhoon here. Yeah, when I when I mistapped to not present those bit, I'm like a two wrath in end. Uh, I I'm happy if he casts okay, the shock. Okay. <laughs> but obviously you can go out of end from this position. Alright, it's your turn. Okay, no useful land, right? Mm, nope. I nothing. have a field of ruin. Yeah, no, I mean field, field with mine. Mm. Alright, draw. Uh, yeah, let's see, attack Narset. I'm gonna have to fatal push that samurai. Trigger, trigger. Two baby shocks. Goodbye, samurai. Okay, Wandering Gemper. Not a samurai. No, I do. He's back again. And then I'll pay seven mana and be like, wow, what is this? In the risk call? March of the other world. Oh, about. okay. <laughs> okay, one at, one at a time. I see it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Um, draw a cup of time. Mmm. Oh, that's, that's a nice it's one. Wind, come on. <laughs> uh, we'll attack. What? The Wandering Emperor. Me? The oh, the Emperor. Emperor. Oh, yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I should just do it now, I believe. Yeah. I'm gonna cling to that. No. <laughs> you get <laughs> two shots. Is it for mana cost? One shot. No, it's 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 the uh, mana, mana you cost. spend. Yeah. Okay, mana cost. So you get another one one shock. Uh, I don't think I have anything relevant. Exile the morning, Emperor. So I draw a card. You make one shark only this time. Yes, only one, unfortunately. You can. Then I will cycle a sensor. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Ooh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that card too. I <laughs> got reached in a terror. Oh no! <laughs> Each player draws a card and discards a card. Yeah, and because I have not to play. That's devastating, why don't you? Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, good game. Well, I'm gonna cling to dust again. Okay. I wanna keep 
cards in the graveyard that have different so, types. Yeah, so I have yeah, this thing. I think for me it's the same what you target. Um, so you make one more shark. Car market, they have a lot of shark tokens. Actually, it's kind of important for the stack because you do want to shuffle mm. you shuffle cards back. Okay, sure. So I wanna I wanna get rid of stuff that's Removals. gonna be really yeah, bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, cool. Um, well, five, I, should, I think it's enough, right? Yeah, I should keep that push though because I need it. Okay, sure. Alright, five is enough. So yeah, the card stays in the graveyard cling, so you got a shark. Appreciate it. And a mana, you draw a card. Draw another card. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I guess I will cycle the sensor. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. then I will blow up your field of ruin. Yep. I didn't miss that. All right, all right. And I will get a basic. Do I have one left? Yeah, I do have a swamp left. And then I pass the turn back to you. Okay, and now I finally can cycle my sensor. I couldn't die in my turn. Okay. I draw a card. I could make you wait, wait, wait. I could make you discard that card right now if Guy Reach Centurion. Yeah, I know, but then you don't make me discard in my turn. So yeah, it's but the same. if it's like a Wandering Emperor or something with Flash, so I'm gonna do this right now. Okay, so I just discard a card. Yeah, I, I still have to. It wasn't bad. Oh, it's a farewell. It was not. <laughs> oh, that was, was not really bad. good. Whew. Sorry. Glad I got that one. Go yeah, ahead. There's no way to play around it, unfortunately. And uh, I go for a turn, and I draw. Attack Narset. Block. Tim right down. Your turn. Draw. Attack for two. 16. I cast a cling to death. I played two main deck. Yeah, I played two main deck. Interesting card. Excel Fever. Draw a card. Make a shark. I pass it down to you. Draw. Um, no, in your upkeep. My upkeep. I will activate Garage Sanitarium. Yeah, draw this card. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll just cut this. Draw step. Mm. Main phase. Mm. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I will just go ahead and start casting King to us again. Yep. All right. I will exile the you know. card. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're now witnessing the classic control versus control, no win conditions. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I got my baby sharks. So. Yeah. People well. at home will be like, why is he not conceding? <laughs> I have a rules from higher places that tell me to not concede. So <laughs> I have to stay here and wait my time to lose. Oops. Um, but if you're playing control in paper, while Arne is just killing me, I'm very good. <laughs> Play control in paper, it's important that you concede so that you don't go to time. Absolutely. It's That's good advice. Uh, one of the very advices to every control player will give you. It's important. All right, second cling. Yeah, second cling. Excel, not a random card. Doesn't matter for your deck. So I get another baby shark. <laughs> All right, I'll draw a card with the cling. Yeah. Works. Round of shark. So here we have five sharks. All hey, right. It's your turn now. It's my turn. I'm gonna draw for my turn. I will attack. Take with five. Everybody. Eleven. Take Eleven. Play a hall of storm giants. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn to you. Upkeep. Upkeep. I'm gonna activate the garage. Draw this card. Yeah. It's got failed passage. All right. Draw step, your turn. Well, now I'm just gonna cast a March of Red Sorrow for 10. All right. Okay. And yeah. that's it. That's right. it. Good game, good game, good game. Huge sideboard changes as always. Uh, my sideboard is like very much mopped for this matchup since I have the three super verdict that are bad, the full portable hold that are bad, and farewell. I mean, I could get some shock tape wound, but I don't think that's a very realistic scenario. And even if it happens, it means that I are already lost. So let's take all of these eight out. I'm gonna bring in some extra threat, extra counter. Things will be better post sideboard. Okay, I mean, Gabriel Nassif, you have a hell of a sideboard for control mirrors. I can already tell. We have a lot of cards to bring in. Mystical Dispute, Disdainful Stroke. I love the Memory Delusion here. It's one of the best cards against Blue White. The Jason and Sponge here are nice to surprise Mengu with. He's probably gonna board most of his removal, like Portable Hall Verdicts. They're definitely gonna go. Maybe he's gonna keep the, uh, the March of Otherworldly Light, but that costs at least three mana to kill the Jace, so it's in favor for me. Fortis is, of course, coming in. Great one in Control Mirrors. Noxious Grasp to kill Wandering Emperor or Teferi and also the additional copy of Shark Typhoon. What do I board out? The removal spells, they are mostly bad. Um, we have the Powerboard Kill that can definitely go. I'm boarding out the, march, the Marches, the black ones. 
I'm boarding out Kalitas, I'm boarding out Extinction Event, Shadows Verted, Sweepers. I'm boarding out one copy of Days Undoing. Um, technically, it could be very good with an AZ, but I can envision games that go long where we both just have a staring contest. And I don't want to be drawing multiple Days Undoing that just clock up in my hand, especially when Mengu uses his Dovin's Vido on my Nazets, and then those Days Undoings won't be so good. So I'm trimming down one. And I actually leave in one Fatal Push because there's like Shark Typhoon tokens, there's two two Samurais that could grow. Um, I mean, especially against the Shark Typhoon, it's nice to have Fatal Push. Game number two, I'm on the play. Let's go. Seven. I love post. Yeah. Sideboard control mirrors, they're really fun. They're good. Reasonable spells, I'm happy, I'm confident about this game. This is gonna go better. Also, my hand is good. Ooh, this is a doozy. I love this opening hand. I got Falsies, Mystic Dispute, Free Lands. I got Shark Typhoon, Negate. I mean, yeah, let's do this. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping two. Let's go. Farmland, your turn. Farmland, your turn. Why not? Draw cards. Well, I'll, I'll do the same. Mm -hmm. Feather pools. Okay, yeah. Farmland, go. All right, on top. Draw. Okay. Hallstone Giants. Yep. And I'm actually gonna fall six here. Okay. Dovin's Vido and Fateful Absence, they don't look good right now. I don't need to care about them. I don't have anything to counter, and Fateful Absence is just not that great of a card in this matchup in general. I get why Mango has it. I mean, I have threats like Sauron and Narset, so you do want to have Fateful Absence, but that's a different matter. So it's either I take the Fred, Wandering Emperor, or I take the cheap card, Mystic Dispute, that's good against my Airtie. I think in this situation, with having Airtie in hand, negate, plenty of cards to counter a four mana Wandering Emperor, I just want to get rid of that Mystical Dispute. Mm, I'll take the Mystical Dispute. Go to 18. All right, so you go to 18. Good to go. Pass the turn. All right, let's see what I draw. Land go. Castle mm -hmm. Anvil is certainly a scary one in the long game. Yeah, 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 for sure. Sure, you gotta kill the ruin. So. Play Fatal Passage. All right, go ahead. Play Otawar. Go ahead. Okay. Another Fatal Passage. All right, go ahead. Draw. Play Island. Your turn. Crack a Fatal Passage. Mm hmm. And uh, crack another one. All right. Yep. And I'll cycle... Cycle Shark, shark Typhoon, end of turn. You cycle Shark Typhoon, end of turn. Interesting. For two. Let me think about this. Mm -hmm. I could go Emperor plus one. He attacks it with uh, Shark. But then I'm tapped out. He, things, bad things might happen. I'm just passing the turn. I have Dobin's Veto, I have Sensor. But most importantly, I have the Castle Arden Veil. So, I'll use my mana this turn. My mana won't go wasted. Okay, so you cycle shark, draw a card. And uh, I will let you go. All right, on top, draw, attack two. I go to 18, 18 each. Play an island pass. I will uh, make a token. Yeah. I go? Yep. Yeah. Uh, half one. Two seventeen. Play an a ganjo, and uh, it's your turn. So I played a decent amount with Airtai resurrected already in standard mostly, and I don't think I've ever played it out doing anything else. But in this situation where Mengu has this Castle Ardenvale that's starting to pop out tokens and slowly taking over the game, and my hand is quite reactive. I have these two air ties and then just reactive cards. I gotta put on a clock. So, yeah, it's just a 4 mana free 2 here, end of turn. Play an Airtai, end of turn. Okay, Airtai, just like that. Sure. Um, no abilities, just yeah. a free 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, um, yeah. go ahead. Okay. Shock, down to 15. <laughs> okay, attack with 5. 13. Team. The race is on. Yeah. So you don't necessarily want to play your Naset out here because Mengu does have Dovin's Vido and you just trade with that. But this is an unusual situation where 
Mengu has this Castle Abendwehr. And this is a turn where if I play Nazet and he casts Vido, which is very likely going to be happening, then he won't be able to use his Ardenvale. So I'm starting to taxate Mengu's mana. I'm starting to apply pressure with my two creatures. And while doing so, I don't want Mengu catching back up on the board, making one ones. I want to pressure his mana, so I'm gonna cast Nazet. I'll cast Nazet. Okay, doing something over there, huh? Yeah, now that one cannot resolve. Although I'll attempt to absorb it. Fine by me? Yeah. Yeah. So you go up to 16? I'll go up to 16. Now that it's countered, that's it for me. I will cycle a sensor. Sure. And tap draw. Deserted beach and uh, I will attack you for one. Okay. Are you good at 14? Your turn. Draw a card. Play a key with a path, right? Mm -hmm. And I will go to attacks. Yep. Attack five. I go to 11. I pass the turn to you. I'll uh, make a token. Mm -hmm. Can I go? Yep. Untap drop. So land, and you have three cards, four cards. Mm. Oh, I pass. You pass. All right. Untap. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to cast Cling to Dust on your Absorb. Okay, draw card. And then I will attack. Yeah. I will double block uh, a tie. And pass priority. Yeah, take two. Go to nine. I'll play Half of the Eye Tyrant. Okay. Go ahead. I'll uh, play an Emperor. It's the time. It's the time. I'd like to respond with an Ertai. Another Ertai resurrected. Got me so badly. Like, there's kind of no words to describe this. Like, if I played my Emperor in combat, and he would have played Ertai, it's legendary. If I didn't play anything, just made a token, Izertai would have been like, you know, kind of just wasted mana once again. Uh, once again, Arnet just, just getting me good here and... You got it. All right, you draw a card. Yep, you got it. All right. Take a turn? Yep. Let's go. I'm gonna shock myself down to 12. And I will activate this mm. Hive, the eye tyrant here. Nice, yeah, strong play. And I will go to combat. Yep. Yeah. Attack for eight and exile. I have to, unfortunately, exile something. Exile this too. Yeah, I have to create the absence. The... I could go on the shark, but the shark is just a token. I can block that with my own shark. The earth eye, but I can double block it with two one ones. The land, but if he activates one land, it doesn't activate the other one the next turn. Well, I figure a 3 3 menace cannot be uh, handled by my tokens, whereas air tie is. Not in a great shape. I need to top deck out of this. Let's go with the hive, but I'm not very confident on this. I'll go here. That resolves. All right, make a clue. And I'll take five down to four life. Pass the turn to you. Make a token. Yep. And pass and tap. Mm -hmm. Draw. Play land. Your turn. All right, I'm going to cling to dust. You want to draw? Draw a card. And then I'm gonna crack this kill. Okay. Try it out. Go. All right, no wandering emperor end step. That's good. Yeah. I had one and I maybe didn't use it at its best. I'm gonna shock myself again. 10. 10. 
Next bit is half stone giant. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start attack for with these three. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with the, the higher risk play, I think. I like the sound of that. I'll play a March of the Worldly Light. Trigger. Pay three. Yeah, I'm going to negate the March. I'll play a Mystical Dispute. Okay, okay. That is, that is actually pretty good. Exile. Damn. No, but the shark. Yeah, the shark. I'll make a token and I'll double block the Artai. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. two, down to two. Down now, to two. And now I just, uh, yeah, from the position to top deck. All right, let's go. Woo! Boom! Ah, oh, damn. All nice, right. nice, nice. Exile, gain two life. All right. Okay, All here right. we go. Woo! <laughs> so you're up to four again? Yep. All Go. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. It's, it's gonna turn into exciting now. Yeah. I cast my regular. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll take these two. Okay. Um <clears throat> and then I'll play a Jace Rinse Prodigy. Sure. I'll pass the time to you. I'll make a token. Alright. And um, I'm going to pass this pass. Go to 11. I go. Yeah. Drop. Mm hmm. Er, not bad. Okay. Exile the Jace. And I'll check you for one. I had a couple of answers on top, so <laughs> at the end, uh, the shark would have been dealt with. <laughs> you got a 10, and it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Play Nazi. Yeah, to counter it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Play Sora. Yep. Make a vampire. Yep. And pass. Pass it to you. I'll make a human. Yep. I'm tapping draw. Come on, let's keep the top deck streak going. <sighs> let's not stop at the top. <laughs> to ferry. Sensor. Okay. No Narcity sitting play, thankfully. Go. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, well, first things first, I'm going to plus the Sauron. Yeah. It's a swamp. Yeah. Play that swamp. Yeah. Uh, pass the turn. I'll make a human. Yeah. I'm tapping low, right? Okay. I'm going to use that opportunity to flashback in the direction. Well, you tap low. Yeah. Yeah. Works out. Okay, look at those. All right, taking these two. Okay. You can go. Untap and grow. Mm -hmm. I will cycle. Yeah. I'll play a top land. And uh, I think I have to attack your sore in here. Mm. Kill my creatures. I'll play one. You gain two, you go to A at 12, yep. and Soren goes to one. Your turn. Okay. All right, draw cards. Plus the Soren. Yep. To make this appear, I take two. You get 10. I'll play an asset. I will absorb it. I will Mystic dispute that. All right, I'll pay. Alright, let's get to it again. I'll go pay. Okay. Our set is in play. And I will... Ronus Vortex. And play the Days Undoing. Alright, cool. Yep. So the Days Undoing goes into Exile. Alright, unfortunately, my Days Undoing <laughs> is just one card, while yours is seven. Go ahead. All right. Can I cast a Teferi before the end of the game? Let's see. Whoa. Okay. I will march your vampire. Yeah. Tuck your Soren. Okay. And it's your turn. It's my turn. All right. Okay. I will plus Soren. Yeah. Reveal that. Yeah. 
minus this Nasset. Yep. Go to the top four. And I will take a shot of him. And six, nine, ten. Play Field of Ruin. No! <laughs> My castle. Play a four seed. Targeting you. Should have foretold. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to foretell because of information. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, That's please. funny. I got eight. Uh, <laughs> okay, and I've still eight cards in hand, so I would have to discard. Um, or you can cast a shark they bone. I guess why not, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. <Boo. laughs> okay. Play Shark Tafu and yeah. it's your turn. I'll make a token. Yeah. Untap? Yeah. Draw? Yeah. Attack Soren with both. Mm, I'll play a Tainted Indulgence, triggering Shark Fist. The results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, discard, favorite passage. All right. And I'll pull out the one one. Oh. Okay. Play a hole and pass. Okay. Four, seven. No. Plus Soren. Mm -hmm. I keep that card there. Ooh. Minus Nasset. Must be nice to refuse card advantage. <laughs> and get another Nasset. And at this point, <laughs> I mean, we're just. Yeah. Okay, I'll attack for two. I got a two. Wait, I'm, okay. I'm just going to pass a turn and discard. Discard? All right. I'll, oh, make a I'll discard. I'll make, a, I'll make a token first. Yeah, you can make a token. On top, draw. Woo! Your games. Your games, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, Arnett, I can safely say to the viewers at home, you outplayed me. Okay, I like to hear that. Yeah, yeah, back in the days, I would have been a little bit more proud to admit it, but you played better and you won. This is how magic should should work. I really respect your honesty and your yeah. maturity in, in responding that way. I mean, we did have some cool games and... Uh... Yeah, I think I could have timed my uh, Emperor a little bit better and if I had more game vision, I think. I think I could have won the game too. I think I had the cards to win. So I feel like you definitely played uh, your cards very well. Maybe, what would you say, is your deck a little bit advantaged over mine? I think it is. It has a lower curve, right? You have these clunkier Planeswalkers. Mm. I have a lot of Planeswalker removal of Airtime, Bronos Vortex. The cheaper counterspell Nazareth is really problematic for blue white. Yeah, always has for Narset main deck and have zero. That was a big changer in the met in the game ones. Yeah, it's, sure. it's like you're almost pre boarded in a way because Nazareth is like in your sideboard. You bring it in for this matchup, but yeah, I already have it. Yeah, also I have like four portable holes and three super verdict that are like really dead. Whereas your your removal spell at instant speed, I think we're good. Like you killed my whole of the storm giants with two yeah, removal spells. True, game true, one. true. I feel like if you had to tune. Your control deck for the mirror, I think blue-black is a better choice. Absolutely. Blue-white has uh, something else going for it, though. Blue-white is just a steady machine. Always been there, always good. Never too good or anything, just rock solid. Yeah, I think this blue-black Demius and doing deck. Again, shout out to Yellowhead who built it. Um, Gabriel and Steve. I think it's good. Like, I like it. Um, there's this there's, there's play to it. It's cheap. The Erta is really nice add-on and the uh, Fatal Push as as good as ever. Yeah, our tie is definitely a card that went out of my radar. I didn't expect it to be good. and uh, But yeah, it was great. Like, Absolutely. In, in our games were really good. I think. All right, always a pleasure to face you, Mango. And now, guys, if you haven't yet, it's time to subscribe to the channel to get more of this content with me and Mangucci. If you want to see more pros play against each other, check out Card Market, like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.